back to Kingdom Hearts 2 with me, Matthew Caddis, ADA Puggy. So today we will um, walk very slowly into the next area, which is the uh, where the Heartless are, of course. So yeah, and um, indeed what we have to do here is prevent Queen Minnie from taking too much damage from the Heartless. So yeah, also she has a limit break as well. Though, unlike with the, um, dare I say, the regular uh, limit breaks in the game, it doesn't bring your MP. So, yeah, she can use Holy, which, honestly, is rather cool for, for Minnie Mouse, seriously. Which is pretty much not a screen nuke, but an area nuke, I guess. And then Sora can call her over once the Heartless are gone. And. Um, what I like to do in this segment is actually stay with Queen Minnie as much as possible so she doesn't take too much damage. Um, as I say, the way Sora attacks um, in this game, obviously that doesn't always work, but most of the time it does. So yeah. Other than that, most of the Heartless we see are ones we've seen before, the Egg Heartless and Although that was, I think, might have been in the Land of Dragons. I'm not sure. But yeah. Um, the attack, by the way, is called Faith. Yeah. I know. Darkness and light and all that shit. Just one moment. As soon as the trouble started, I made sure to seal this room. Now then, shall we? <gasps> Not here too! I got him. Remember Sora, um, don't let Queen Minnie take too much damage because we know what happens uh, with these sort of missions. Granted, we can still use her limit break to knock back the giant floating heartless. But at least that's something. And it works pretty really well, actually. It does knock them back quite far away as well. Seriously, the AoE effect of that faith move um, covers a lot of ground. And yeah, I don't know if the heartless do respawn in this uh, fight, but yeah. The only downside, which we didn't kind of see earlier, is that um, Queen Minnie will be left all by her lonesome if um, Sora gets knocked back, and that would not bode well at all here in this fight. Oh no. So we want to keep moving slowly, slowly and surely in this case, because I don't want to make too many mistakes here. Honestly, yeah, I didn't like this. <laughs> if anything, it reminds me a bit of uh, the Wind Waker, uh, Legend of Zelda, the Wind Waker, with the whole uh, thing where you create a, um, a stone thingy and you have to call it over with Link as well, so yeah. That's what it would remind me of. And yes, you still get experience for fighting these Heartless. Of course you do. So let's get a bit closer with this one. Yeah, my strategy of staying with Queen Minnie is paying off, I dare say. I don't want to be too gung ho here either. And even though our um, um, drive gauge is full, we cannot use our drives because Donald and Goofy are here, of course. Uh, but never mind. I can't think of anything else, really. Seriously. The Heartless don't seem to respawn at all, really. Which is insane to think, but yeah, they don't respawn at all. Well, there's only one left. I could have just slapped him down with Sora's Keyblade, which I actually did do there. Then it's just a matter of getting to the throne, because um, the Cornerstone of Light is um, located deep below the throne room, as we'll see in the next cutscene. Um, but we will see what has happened to the Cornerstone of Light. Um, 
after um, what Maleficent has done to it and how we can uh, change it. But uh, there we go. The room below is called the Hall of the Cornerstone. Our castle has always been safe from worlds that are evil. Thanks to the Cornerstone of Light, which we keep down there. The Cornerstone of Light? This is the castle's cherished cornerstone. Oh, but look! The thorns, they must be the work of someone very evil. I wonder what this could mean. Huh? Magnificent! No way! Well, well, well. What have we here? If it isn't the wretched Keyblade Holder and his pitiful lackeys. Now you're gonna deal with me! All in good time. I promise you'll be able to partake of my vengeance, but you must be patient. Just what are you doing here, Maleficent? Ah, Queen Minnie. Radiant as always. I'm here on a property venture. I want this castle for my own. However, it's a bit too bright for what I have in mind. I suppose I'll just have to fill every room with my personal touch of darkness. You'd better stop right now if you know what's good for you! Ooh, frightening! Very well, I'll stop. Just as soon as the castle belongs to me! <laughs> What a hag. Nothing like this has ever happened before. I looked through all the records in the library, but I couldn't find a single clue. Oh! Huh? We should go ask somebody who knows lots of stuff that ain't in any book. Merlin the Russian! Yes, that's perfect. Merlin just might know something about this mess. Let's ask his advice. We saw him in Hollow Bastion, right? Yeah, let's go.